morning, fellow Titans. I want to ask for your undivided attention for the next couple of minutes as we talk about our current situation with our mitigation strategies relative to COVID-19. Obviously, last night at about 9.30 p.m., we received an important phone call letting us know that we now must make vital choices regarding mask wearing here at school. I want you to have a framework for making those decisions. First thing I want us to remember is that we've been wearing masks, we've been distanced from school, we've been uh, implementing a whole host of mitigation strategies over the past two years, all designed to uphold one of our four core values, wellness. Our decisions over the past two years and for the next two need to always be dictated by our care and concern for our priority of wellness. I want to acknowledge that today is an emotional day for many of us. I recognize that many of you are elated by the news that you'll no longer be required to wear a mask throughout the entire school day. I want us to also acknowledge that there are individuals within our community whose lives and families have been forever changed by the loss of a loved one as a result of a COVID-19 infection. In fact, across our country, nearly a million Americans have lost their lives and across the globe, almost six million. This has certainly been a devastating time in human history. And we wanna take a moment today to acknowledge that many among us have suffered pain because of the COVID-19 crisis. We are entering a new phase of our response to COVID-19. And I wanna share a story with you briefly to give you some perspective about why in the exercise of your personal choice, we can and will remain committed to your wellness and our collective wellness. I was blessed, uh, like many of you, to celebrate a really cool National Football League season. Uh, we watched the Super Bowl on Sunday night. It was a great conclusion to an amazing postseason. I was blessed along with my family to travel to Buffalo, New York in five degree weather to see my beloved Buffalo Bills finally defeat resoundingly their arch nemesis, the New England Patriots. Here's a picture of my family and I on a very cold night, five degrees in Orchard Park, New York. I want you to know as cold and dangerous as the temperatures were outside, None of my family members were ever cold while we were there because we prepared and we over-prepared. We had gloves, in fact, multiple pairs. We had hand warmers and toe warmers, long johns, multiple layers of sweatshirts, coats, hats, and masks. We were covered and our mitigation strategies for the cold were layered and numerous so that if any one of those things had not been present, we still wouldn't have been cold. We had over-prepared, and that over-preparation kept us safe and warm that evening. That is exactly what we've been doing since our return to school last spring, almost a year ago. We have layered multiple mitigation strategies in place to keep us safe from the transmission of COVID-19 in this building. The mask is but one of a number of strategies that we have used. Most importantly, we have asked you to consider if it's medically appropriate getting vaccinated. Approximately 90% of our staff and student body have been vaccinated, which puts all of us in a safer position to begin with. We've asked you to be careful to stay at home if you're not well. Don't take a chance of exposing any of us to a simple cold to the flu or to COVID-19 or any other communicable disease. You've been fabulous about doing that. We've asked you to wash your hands frequently. We've asked you to maintain distances. And yes, we've asked you to wear the mask. Frankly, compared to many of the other mitigation strategies, scientifically speaking, the mask is one of the less effective interventions for the mitigation of COVID-19 spread. It's not ineffective, it's just not the most effective. So just like on a January night when it was five degrees in Orchard Park, 
if I had taken off a sweatshirt or one of my daughters had taken out their toe warmers, we wouldn't have been unsafe. And we're not going to be unsafe here together because some of us are going to choose to remove our masks. It's going to be okay. We're going to keep transmission within the building at a very low level because we're going to be faithful to the other mitigation strategies that have been in place. So that brings me to the exercise of your individual choice about the mask. I want to assure you, staff and students, that there will be no shaming, no pressure, no one here is empowered to influence your choice in a way that is not comfortable for you. It is time now for us to be able to exercise that individual choice. I ask only that we evaluate our individual choices within the context of our collective wellness. So I want you to know that when, we, when I'm in a meeting in my tiny office or in a small place with other staff members, you can expect to see me choosing to wear my mask as a fully vaccinated, boosted person. But when we're in open spaces like the gym, the cafeteria, the hallways during class passing times, I will choose to take my mask off. And I know that many of you will as well. As you choose to take your mask off, I just ask you to be cognizant of your surroundings. Make a good choice for yourself and others. It is your choice and your choice alone. No one should be shamed for not wearing a mask. No one will be shamed for choosing to continue to wear a mask. Thank you so much. As we get ready for our minute of silence, I'd like us to dedicate this minute of silence to the memory of those especially those close to us who have lost their lives in the midst of this crisis. As we begin another day, let us pause for a minute of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, fellow Titans. As we get ready for this new day, new era, there could be a better time for our sources of strength leaders to have set the table for how we maintain healthy relationships at a time when people are going to have very strong emotions about the choices that others are making around us. With that in mind, I can't wait to show you this morning's brief but powerful video about how we can all make sure we're doing our part to maintain healthy relationships. <music>
How about that celebration of the life and contributions to our culture by Bo Diddley? Tomorrow, we're going to have our Black History Month assembly, and it's going to really, really shift the way we normally do business in terms of a bell schedule. We're not going to take time to do morning announcements tomorrow because of that significant investment of time we're going to make for the assembly. Therefore, I want to share with you today's Black History Question of the Day, uh, Black History Month Question of the Day, brought to us by the Black Student Union. Remember, the first person to email to kevin.l.west at lcps.org, the correct answer to this question wins a prize. Here's the question. Who were the last three rap artists inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Be the first to email kevin.l.west at lcps.org to win a prize. Last night, our varsity boys basketball team traveled to Loudoun Valley, where we battled valiantly throughout the game. We went to the half down just 18 to 16. In the second half, the hot shooting Vikings hit a bunch of three-pointers and brought our run through the Dulles District Tournament and our season to a close. I want to thank our seniors for working so hard. Your progress from beginning of season to end was remarkable to behold. Thanks, Coach Eifler, Coach DeMott, and your staff. Thanks to our athletes. It's been an enjoyable season. Uh, since I want to have an opportunity to shout this out tomorrow, I want you to know that Lindsey Miller will be advancing to the state gymnastics meet, which will be held on Friday at Heritage High School. Our swimmers will be traveling down tomorrow to Richmond, where they will compete in the state championships. And our wrestlers will be down in Virginia Beach Sportsplex tomorrow and Saturday competing for a state championship. We wish them every success. Link, a freshman, remember today we're going to have a Link Crew lesson during your Titan time. Just want you to be prepared for that to occur this coming block. Red Cross, Red Cross Club meets today after school in L504. They have an upcoming uh, uh, act of generosity and kindness that they want to do, a toiletry drive. Check out their promotional video as they try to support families within our community. So the Red Cross Club again meets after school today in room L504. Anime Club meets tomorrow after school in room 612. We'll be watching Cowboy Bebop and discussing dubs versus subs. Dubbed English voices versus original Japanese voices with subtitles. Who knew? And anime versus live action remakes. By the way, elections will be held next week. Spring season and softball, the start of softball, are right around the corner. On Monday, most of our spring athletic programs get underway, including softball. Check out this promotional video from our softball program. We hope, young ladies, you'll consider joining the team, experienced or not. And I wish to remind you that the Climate Change Club is hosting a recycling art competition where you can create art out of recycled materials for a chance to win a Starbucks gift card. Please scan the QR code to participate and note that the last day to submit your artwork is March 4th. You'll have access to additional details such as the rubric once you scan the QR code and fill in the form. We're excited to see your cre creativity as you work with us to save the planet. In fact, let's take a look at their promotional video right now.
Titans just want to remind you, there's never been a moment when your presence here in our community has been a more priceless treasure than it is today. Your presence here, in fact, is a gift. You are loved unconditionally. Always be truly Titan. Have a fantastic day. Let's be committed to one another's wellness. Go Titan!